tutorial in this class i'll be teaching you how to make or sew this flay turtle neck gown with shoulder pad this pleated uh, flay turtle neck with shoulder pad as you can see right here i'm going to teach you the full circle method we have actually two methods for it we have the half circle method and the full circle method so i'll be teaching you the full circle method in this class so please stay tuned to the end of this video. all right so now we want to start off this tutorial and uh, we'll be making use of um Dutchess, uh fabric so this dutchess i'm actually using is not the lighter dutchess this is actually a thick new kind of uh dutchess it's not really that thick but it's you know more it has more quality than the regular dutchess we know okay so i have um eight yards right here okay this circle dress you actually need um eight yards for it to form this beautiful dress so these eight yards i've already separated them for four yards because you are going to have them um, the back as half a circle and the front are half a circle then we we'll match them together okay so looking at what we have on the thumbnail uh, if you can actually get a fabric that comes with a longer length duchess uh, or other satin fabrics comes at 60 inches per length so if you will be able to get 120 inches per length then it means you are going to cut this the regular normal circle we have but since the length is not enough and we actually need a full length from shoulder to the full length then we'll be separating our duchess fabric for four yards and it does not affect anything as well so now we'll be working with uh, the front first we are going to cut the front and the first thing i'm going to do is the four yards i have i'm going to match them together to make uh, i'm putting them together to form uh, the folded edge because we are going to make pleats if you look at that dress, you see that there are some beautiful pleats. So I'll quickly arrange this um, four yards for the front now. It two two equal parts, two two yards. So we'll be able to form that pleat. So we are working on the front dress. And I want you to pay attention. If you actually want to have this dress appear the way you are see seeing it there, right on the thumbnail with those beautiful pleats. This is what you are going to do. So your Dutchess satin fabric, like I said, I'm using a quality Dutchess satin. It's a little, you know, thicker than the regular Dutchess that is so very light. Okay, it's actually a new Dutchess in the market. So now this is four yards and I put this four yards into two equal parts. And this is the midline. That is, I have two yards right now when folded. So now I'm going to create a notch on this midline. Then we are going to create the pleats before we go ahead and cut out the neck line. So you can see it right here. This is the center front of it. And this is actually where we are supposed to have the half a circle, which is going to form our neckline for this dress. So I will just form that pleat. So whichever way you want to form that pleat, you can go ahead and form it. So I'm going to form this pleat this way, okay? So it's your creativity. So I'll just take my time. You can see how I picked this and I'm bringing it towards the center front area. So I actually want to tilt it because I noticed that the one we had on the thumbnail was somehow creative and tilted so i just take my time although this fabric is actually wobbling on this table but you can see what i'm doing right here so i'll quickly hold it down with my pins the way i want it my the pleats to go before ever i go ahead to cut the neckline okay so at least you have an idea of what i'm doing right here so if you want to kiss split it you just take it and face it in the same direction can you see so i just create this you know secure with my pins right now then this remains the center front note the notched part remains the center front so whatever thing 
neckline we want to create we'll also create it along with this splits okay this splitted area and we go ahead with the sewing of the neckline so let me create the pleats right now so i just want to show you what i did on the pleats on the neckline so you can see this pleat just as it is right there on the video and on the thumbnail i decided to have this can you see the pleats run this is the center line note this is that center front line we notched okay so if you keep your ruler straight you can see the pleats crossed along the center line so you have to tilt it this way okay you have to tilt it in a slanted way just like i did right there so this remains the neckline now i have another pleat okay so like that this pleating is just your your design or by your choice so you have to use your discretion to do that so i made this one facing this way and i also felt like maybe making a kissing pleat to it from this center front line i'll just come a little at the center line this way so if you don't want this uh, pleat to show too much just pick like one inch of it this way and secure with your pin then you can bring in this other one and make like you are making like um, a kissing pleat so i can just give a little distance to create it so it's all your creativity okay so you can make your pleats anyhow you wish to make it so i just feel like having it this way so at the end of the day <clears throat> from that uh, center line i'll be having still my shoulder will fall exactly at eight inches and from here my shoulder from here will also fall exactly at eight inches so the next thing we are going to do now i just want to leave the pleats the way it is right here okay so you can go ahead and give it a good press okay you can just go and iron it down but i'm going to do that at the end of this tutorial so now we want to start creating the neckline of this dress all right so for the front neckline because of these splits i i made right here, i'm not going to put this on fold so i'll just come over to the center line and place my tape and I'm, i'll be using two and a half inches so you can see me marking two and a half <clears throat> it's just a total neck you know neckline so just go ahead from that center and mark your two and a half inches this way you mark it that way can you see so when we are cutting off this um, neckline right now i'll just quickly follow this so i'm using two and a half because by the time we sew half an inch we'll be having three inches which is the three inches neckline depth and width that we usually use for our total neck so you can see the neckline right now so i'm going to cut out this neckline right away so i'll cut it together with the pleats i have so this is the neckline at two and a half i'm cutting it together with the pleats we have right here can you see all right so i've cut it out so the next thing i'm going to do is to place this this way can you see I'm going to place it from this neckline now and i'll just quickly slant it to match into this just to blend it out i believe you understand okay so i blended it out right now so you can see we have our pleats we also have our neckline so now i'll just go back to the machine and hold it down as if i want but if i don't want i'll still leave it the way it is and once we join the back and front together the pleats are held so I'll, i'm going to secure my pleats very well now okay then we'll put it together right away so we can cut the circle parts i've secured it with my pins like i said you can go and run a stitch to hold the pleats okay these splits you can go ahead and run a stitch to hold it but i'll just secure with my pin the way they are so now i'll simply go ahead and this is the center front area 
I'll just match this neckline together. Okay. The normal way we cut our circle, our half circle. So I've already cut out the uh, the neckline. So from this neckline I place together now. We are going to take on this side. This is the folded part. We are not touching it. So we'll just go ahead and do what? Cut out from here. So I'll quickly hold it down together this way. Can you see? So together this way. So we'll start marking out all, all our necessary lines from that neckline. So now the first line you want to mark, the first line you are going to mark here on this open ended part, I'm going to mark my, <clears throat> I've already, my shoulder, I'm working with, uh, I'm using uh, 16 inches divided by two, which is eight. And here I've, I've cut two and a half for my neckline. So I'm going to mark that shoulder, which is 8 inches. Then after my 8 inches mark, I'm going to mark my where my sleeve is going to pass. I'm still on this open-ended part of the dress. So from there, that 8 inches, I'm going to mark 22 inches. That is where I measured my sleeve. So it can be within 20 to 22 inches. So after you have marked the 22 inches mark, next we are going to do now from that um, 22 inches that our sleeve will pass, I'm going to measure 4 inches for the sleeve opening. Find the midpoint of that sleeve opening and go in by half an inch from it. Then I'll just curve it. You can use your curve ruler to do that. So at this point right now, I'm going to cut it off. I'll leave it open and it's going to serve as our sleeve opening. Then from that point, I'm, I'll now measure 30 inches down. Okay? It depends on how long you want it to measure. So here I have exactly 30 inches. Okay? So that's why I asked you to take, use them. Um, four yards okay because i know we are going to exhaust the rest of it so from this part we have 30 inches so i'm going to place it where you can see what i'm doing very clearly and cut out the circled the down circled part to meet the center front so now you can see the rounded neckline so just like i measured uh, right there this is the 2 by uh, 2.5 by 2.5 line and remember that we place our tape at the 2.5 line this way and mark the shoulder. So this remains the shoulder measurement at 8 inches. So here at 8 inches is the shoulder line. Although I've taken this measurement before, and I told you to also take from that shoulder line, you now take 22 inches. So then this is my 22 inches, can you see? So I place a mark at 22, 22 inches mark. And I asked you to take 4 inches for your sleeve opening from that point. And get the midline at 2 inches. I, I went in by half an inch and I'll cut out this area. So from that point, you measure to the end of the dress, okay, at 30 inches. So from this uh, 30 inches, you just go curve it this way, okay? There's no exact measurement, just go on curving it this way. So you can see me cutting to meet up with what I have the other way. So you just cut to give it that flay uh, effect, okay? So I'll cut it to meet up what I have on the center front line. So here, you take off the flip, okay? So you can see what we have right there on the flip. And that is it. So we are going to cut out the back right now. So this is exactly what your half circle should be looking like, okay? So the neckline is the radius for the front. 
So I'm going to cut out the part I marked right now for the arm. Then we'll now go ahead and cut the place this on top of the back and cut. So this is the arm hole parts, okay? So I'll just go ahead and put them together appropriately and cut out that four inches where we are going to pass our arm. Back, I just want to make a little adjustment to this um, measurement we had on the sleeve opening. So if you remember when we were taking this measurement, I have to take mark the shoulder line at 8 inches. And from that 8 inches, I have to mark 22 inches. So at this 22 inches, please, instead of um, going uh, down more, by four inches this should be your mid line okay so that's the right thing at that 22 inches should be your mid line and that is exactly where you are going to come in by half an inch okay then from here you measure two inches this way and from here you measure another two inches so once you measure that two inches you are going to do what curve it okay this way so you now curve it to meet up that way. So that 22 should be your midline for your sleeve opening. So now I'm going to cut out what I have. So this fabric is actually wobbling a lot. So, but you have to be very careful. While working with it is a Duchess fabric. So I'll go ahead and cut that sleeve opening from the adjustment, new adjustment I made. So now, after cutting out this 4 inches sleeve opening, so when we are going to sew, we are going to leave this sleeve opening. That's where we are going to pass this arm. So it can be 4 inches, it can be 5 inches if you are on a larger size. So now, I'm going to cut the neckline for the back then place this on top of the back and cut repeat the whole process for the back before we begin to sew so for the back i bring in the four yards again okay so this is the four yards uh, remaining of the eight yards of duchess that we are using for this project so this other four inches you are going to also uh, put it together and find the mid point. Remember, this is 360 full circle we are cutting, but we are cutting front 180 back 180 to give us what we actually looking for. So here, if you are cutting 180, this is how you fold it, exactly what we did. Then for this, we are going to have another style of pleating for the back. So since we are having another style of pleating for the back, this is how we are going to go about it. So once you have gotten the center back, place a notch to it. So this center back is going to have a 5 inches slit from here to here. So now before we go to the marking or creating of the 5 inches, we are going to create the neckline width. This is the width of our neckline. Note that and it remains two and a half then the depth is one inch for the back remember that is how we go about our neckline so i'll just curve in the back neckline so after we have curved the back neckline the next thing we are going to do is to create our pleats so i'll just go ahead and create the pleats the way we actually want it so if you want it this way like the back pleating is actually easy to create so i'll just do this for it and do this for the back so just try and be creative about it so we are going to create this pleats first before we continue our measurement so the pleating for the back has to be equal so if you want to face the plate this way, fine. You want to face it this way, but we are going to have one one plate for front and back. So let me arrange it before we continue. All right, so I've created the plates. I just have to hold it down on the center back line. And I created the two plates equally facing the 
back area so this is how is, we are going to place it to cut so before we cut the same shape that we just cut i'm going to cut out or i'm going to measure the opening so the back opening from that one inch neckline we are going to have it at four inches okay so we can go by four or five inches so let us do four inches i don't actually want it too much so i'll just go ahead and cut this neckline that is the back neckline then i'll open up the center back slit okay so i opened up the center back slit so i'll be able to pass my neckline so we can still do for five inches okay let me just do the five inches because that is the standard i know for necklines like this so i just get it up to five inches okay so we are going to use our bias strip so we are done with this back now so the next thing we want to do is to place it right on the on uh, on top of the Place the front one on top of the back and cut the same shape. So now I've placed the back, okay, the front that we cut, I've placed it on top of the back. So I'll now follow the back now and cut exactly what I have for the front. So that's what I'm going to cut now. So now we have cut both um, front and back dress, okay. So I will take front out and we want to finish up the back dress now. So I'll go back to the machine right away and spread open what I have for the back. So this is what I have for the back now. So you can see the pleats, I still secure them with my pin. So I'll just go ahead and open up um tape the five inches okay so i'm going to use my uh, bias to finish up here so i'll do that quickly then i'll stitch the pleats to secure them take off my pin then we'll go over to the so right now i'm finishing up the back neckline with the slit very neatly putting the front and back together sewing it neatly up to the sleeve opening right now as you can see right all right, so to cut the turtle neckline, I've already uh, has, uh, stayed my fabric, okay? I stayed it with my paper stick. So this turtle neckline will just simply go ahead and fold this way. So the width of this um, neckline, I'm going to make use of, uh, because it's actually a high neck, okay? It's actually a high neckline. So I'm going to make use of two and a half inches because I'll still sew half an inch okay so i'm working with two and a half so at the end of the day or let us work with three inches so at the end of the day we'll be left with two and a half so the length we measured now was 13 so i'm going to add one inch for seaming allowance and another one inch for 13 inches sorry i'll add one inch for seaming allowance and another one inch for overlap okay so i'll have everything cut at 14 inches uh, 15 inches so i'll just go ahead and measure the 33 inches width on fold so i just place my tape and measure the 33 inches width this way on fold I see that so that is what we are going to use for this neckline so by the time we sew it we have it this way so if you feel the three inches is too much you can also do two inches but what i want it high okay i just want it to rest on the jaw so that's why i'm using the three inches so i'm just going to my machine now i'll fold this back and i'm going to sew adding my button loop Okay, so it depends on um, how you want to work on this. So I'm going to uh, use this, my fabric now. I'll just sew my fabric, just a piece of fabric right here. I'll just put it in this way on my machine. I'll sew. 
and I'm going to make my button loops. I will start it this way, facing this way. I can make two, I can make one, it depends. Then I'll now sew half an inch. So let me prepare it now. Alright, so this is what it looks like right now. So I'm going to turn it to the right side now. So if you turn to the right side, like I said, I have my loops sewn in it already. So just make sure you bend it this way, push it in this way. So you have that uh, sharp or squared edge. Can you see that? So that is that. So I'm going to sew this neckline right now. I'm going to sew it right into this dress and we are done with this class so i'm going to sew first i'll push it in this way and i'm going to sew the first one round then i'll use this other one to top stitch on it so i'm going to prepare the shoulder pad i'm going to cover it with fabric right now as you can see right right so now I'm going to insert the shoulder part to the dress right side. When you iron it, you have something bending this way. So I put it together and I placed my steam iron this way. So at the end of the day, it has this uh, apex area going up to carry the dress. So I'll now go ahead, like I said, I will attach the shoulder part. I think I've explained how the shoulder pad is going to be attached. We have two ways you can attach them. One, you can wear it on, on the body of the person you are making the dress for or on your own body. So once you have done that, then you can go ahead. This highest part is the part that will be on the shoulder. So if this is your shoulder, the point of your shoulder, if this is from here to here, is the remaining 5 inches from here to here, okay? Then you can just bring the shoulder pad a little in words. So you have like 1 inch across, okay? So I'll just secure it with my pin now. Just assuming that is the point of the shoulder pad. So on the same line, that is where I'm going to tack so if you're using the tacking method tack on the seam line from beginning of the shoulder part to the end then i'll also repeat the same for this other part so after i'm done with that the next thing is to decorate it as you can see right there so you can come in with any applique of your choice you can place how you want or how you wish so remember we have a pleat running this way so i'll just iron down this uh, pleat to give it a crease line before i place my applique so i'll just place my applique like you can see right there on the thumbnail is coming almost uh, above the collar so i'll position it the way that it will look fine so that is how we come to the end of this tutorial and I believe this class was helpful to you. So if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends, drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well. Thank you once again. See you next time.